any time. Fire the hole! Wait, you guys all ready? Right. You guys all ready? Thanks for asking. Yeah!
Nobody here has one of those balloon phobias, do they? <laughs> More clown phobias. Or an angel phobia. I asked because the last show that we played, there you go. somebody in the audience had an extreme balloon phobia. No lie. It ruined their evening. I felt What a bag for now. Thank you.
Is that possible? Doom, doom, damn. Until points. people get drunk enough to participate with everyone looking Woo! at them, it's easy for people to sing along when no one can see who's singing so badly. <laughs> so we do some of not gonna happen? Okay, not gonna happen. That's cool. Lurking. No, that's cool. Looking in the shadows is one of our special <laughs> That's the same thing they said on the Titanic. Would you turn the lights, please? <laughs> Too Perfect. soon. Perfect. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Repeat after me. Oh, sinners, you better get ready. Sinners, you better get ready. Oh, you better get ready. Hallelujah. Oh, you better get ready. Hallelujah. Oh, sinners, you better get ready. Sinners, you better get ready. Sinner must die. Time's coming when the sinner must die. Gorgeous, gorgeous, flawless.
Harris Lane called Old East Cross Street. Voted one of the five most attractive streets in America for some reason. Yeah. Probably bribery. Yeah. Oh, boy, I'm not gonna lie. People don't put their cigarettes out in our balloons anymore. <laughs> That's the only upside, to be honest. I miss living in a cloud of carcinogens. Speaking of a cloud of carcinogens, let's go back to the 80s, shall we? Back when everything was a carcinogen. Okay. Doctors used to prescribe cigarettes and whiskey. <laughs> That's right. Of the nerves. Maybe we'll do that one later. Okay. You guys get to vote on the next horribly done 80s cover song. We have a, uh, a limited selection of ones that we've briefly practiced. Just kidding, we played it so many times that we're super good at it. Um, yeah. Alright, so this is going to be a voice vote and applause vote. If you make a lot of noise, that counts as a yes. Uh, if you don't make a lot of noise, that counts as a no. So if you boo really loudly, that counts as a yes. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Who wants to hear... Wait, I'm going to tell you the, the choices, then you can vote, okay? Okay. okay. All, right. All right. Girls Just Want to Have Fun by Cindy Lauper is their first choice. Choice number two. Loud groans also count as a yes. I heard that. <laughs> Footloose by Kenny Loggins is the second choice. 
Third choice, Money for Nothing by Dire Straits. Fourth choice, Never Tear Us Apart by NXS. And a fifth choice, this is, a, this is brand new for us, Wild One, originally by uh, Jerry Lee Lewis, right? Or did he get it from somebody else? He probably stole from anyway, somebody else. Iggy, Iggy Pop also did. We're doing the Iggy Pop version of Wild One. Featured in Crocodile Dundee 2 when they're rolling down the street with all the punks. Y'all remember that one like it was yesterday, no doubt. Got it, got it on repeat. They don't make movies like that anymore. <laughs> Thank God. All right. So here comes the, here comes the voice vote. Are you ready? Yeah. Well, you're ready. <laughs> Pipsy Pinwheel is ready. All right. Girls just want to have fun by City Lopper. The clowns and nobody else. Footloose by Kenny Loggins. Who wants to hear that one? The back table. The back table. Who's not coming up front and dancing or singing or anything? I, not that I'm gonna, I'm gonna be objective about this. If you win, you win. But you know, there's a lot of decibel loss between me and you back there, so you know, you're you're losing out by being back. All right, one decibel. Mm, the other one, never tear us apart by NXS. Thought not. You know how I knew? I. All right, this is a true story. The only place that ever votes for that is Ludington, Michigan. And they vote for it every single time. They love Never Tears Apart in Ludington. I don't know what it is, but they love it there. All right, and the last one is Wild One by Iggy Pop. Thank you, loud people. Thank you. Remember, you can vote off this one. Yeah, you can vote for more than one. We can vote all night. <laughs> I think the clear winner is Wild One by Iggy Pop. And just when you thought democracy was dead. <laughs> democracy lives, and now you understand why it's no good. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny Loggins. 
There we go. That's right here. Uh, only one of you. Oh, well, two of you. <laughs> Where's the rest of you guys? Go order a shot. Order a shot or two. Come on up. You're be you're better than us in so many ways. Wait. Oh. <laughs> For instance. <laughs> Exhibit A. <laughs> I'm sorry that I hit you in the face of the blue. You should have known. Okay, they're not coming up. We're gonna do half of Footloose. <laughs> half of foot. And I'm not gonna tell you where we're gonna stop. I'm gonna stop all of a sudden. Of course not. No. Keep on your toes, carnies. We're not gonna do the entire song.
right, that's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> if you wanted the whole song, you should have come up. No? You get what you pay for, back table. What's that? Danger Zone? So would I. Yeah, I would too. That's awesome. Hey, I want a Snickers. You got one? Someone call Kenny Loggins. Someone call Kenny Loggins. Let him know. Alright. <laughs> so now that I've totally killed the mood, I'm going to play a song about a serial killer. But first, I'm going to unkill the mood by introducing our first of two gimmicks. The spinning wheel of... Hi. You like gimmicks, don't you? Alright ladies and gentlemen, you understand the concept just by looking at the spinning wheel. We need an audience member, a volunteer, or someone who's been press ganged into service to spin the wheel! And you can win several prizes that are mostly okay. Alright, you can win a free Black Jake and the Carnies button over there at our merch table. By the way, we have a merch table where there aren't free stuff. You can buy stuff too. Help us out, buy us hammer or whatever. You can get a free sticker. You can get a free CD. I'll explain the whole thing for everyone's benefit. Or you can get a free pie in the face. Okay, we're not gonna do the pies real hard because we've had some problems in the past about equipment being ruined and, and suits that um, get whipped cream all over them, but I'm not so, I don't care about your clothes, I just care about mine. Okay, so I'm gonna need a volunteer to come up and spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. I'm closing my eyes, first person up wins. All right, what's your name, young man? This is Aaron, everybody, give him a big round of applause. All right, let me get my uh, let me get my prize ready for you here. There we go. Okay. All right, Aaron. I think we need a drum roll of some kind. There we go. Yeah, just spin it. You know, it doesn't matter clockwise, counterclockwise. It's all rigged the same. A button. How boring. No, I'm just kidding. Button. Good job, Aaron. Aaron, good round of applause. I need to build up credibility for the sake of stagecraft. I don't want to get a pie until like the second or third person to do it. It's just part of the part of the act. All right, Aaron, why don't you help yourself to a free button over there? You know what? You don't have to. If you don't like any of them, just you know, leave them there. That's okay. All right, we need a second volunteer, someone a little bit less lucky. There we go, sir. What is your preferred nomenclature? Bobser? Bob, Bobser. Bobser. Everyone give Bobser a big round of applause. All right, Bobser. Bobser, give her a spin. Not that direction. Oh, no, no, that's good. No. Split the difference. Oh, a sticker. Bobser got a stickser. All right. Welcome and well done, Bobser. Help yourself to your sticker. Put your slimy tentacles all over one of our fancy stickers. All right, we're gonna need one more volunteer before we move on to the music. One more volunteer. You cannot have won anything from Black Jake and the Carnies in the past five years. You've got nothing to lose, folks. Nothing to lose but your dignity. Here we go. What is your name, young man? Jerry. Everybody, give Jerry a big round of applause. I think probability dictates that you're gonna get a pie, but yeah! but you never know. I got a lot of good luck charms on me right now. It might be contagious, unfortunately. All right. You want to spin it yourself? No. Then it would really look rigged. By the way, guys, you gotta remind me to rig this thing. Oh no! That's great. A button. Good job, Gary. Button. We got five cans of whipped cream up here and everybody's getting buttons. All right. <laughs> well, you get the idea. <laughs> you could be a winner, too. <laughs> All right. That's right. So, I think the only thing that could possibly rescue this giant letdown is a song about a serial killer. This one's about Jasper Watkins. He's a fine man, upstanding man, never really happy with his life until he comes to terms with the fact that what he really wants to do is to kill a bunch of innocent people for no reason whatsoever. 
Yeah! Follow your dreams, kids. <laughs> Jasper Watkins was a friend of mine. He always made it to the church on time. He was always so kind and good to me. He loved his friends and his family. Even on that cold November Eve, when I saw what men weren't meant to see. Oh, Jasper Watkins, what have you done with your cold steel knife and a loaded gun? You apologized like a gentleman before you did them poor folks in. Your clothes were glistening, steaming red. You left behind a trail of the dying and the dead. But you didn't come back from this journey just said, Now it all makes sense to me. That's my wife, and stuff went to your seat. And I pray to God for everything you would never take hold of me. It started in the park by the old town square. Our little church was having us a social there. With cider and apples and games and such, there was dancing and drinking, but not too much. He was moving as normally as a little evening stroll down the street. Come back with a bloody Sunday eating dress that he bought for the woman that he loved the best. Praise the nickel pistol, come with it, his best. Send each other babies to the final rest. When out come the next to his own best friend, took those damn ones out to play. Quiet compassion, never let the space up in. That's the last three. Still in his eyes in front of me. That's the truth, we're getting the dead. Of the night on that cold November Eve First to the preacher man and then to me Said he didn't see demons nor enemies Only loving friends and family and he wasn't even drinking nor ever angry Just suddenly knew what God had made him to be Killed him off the gnomes and with his heart still kind Breaking up inside him for the breathing left behind But he felt deeper than him for the very first time now Trouble where he in his mind is he said this to again and again. First his family and then his friends. I asked him why he has to be outside of him. What day? Pipsy, and uh, she's doing a really good job there. 
Spinning wheel. I'm just putting that out there. Do you want me to spin it? Not yet. Let's we'll, we'll build up the tension first. That's what we are. <laughs> Grandpa Moody was a bit old coot. He spent a dark and dreary life, mislived. His wife long past, and his kin don't ask to see the wretch that kept them unforgived. Ah. His fears or the thoughts of the ones he let slip by. And he drank the door of fear, and might have cured his dark humors with a drink or a few that he imbibe. that might go back to the back room and get my little flask of gin that I wasn't supposed to bring in the first place. I sure would appreciate that. <laughs> Bad time? <laughs> you forgot to say please. Please. I'll tip ya. Yeah. 
hundred coals on the fire and spend the best for last to spend. Don't fret no bills, don't fret no coal, don't fret no food or drink or rent. Head full steam if life is mean and cruel and no how makes no sense. If there ain't no difference, put you down your pittance and buy you a bottle to see you hence. <laughs> Everybody give Pipsy Pinwheel a big round of applause. Yay! You're going to be at the uh, Renaissance Festival this year? Yes, Everybody come to the Michigan Renaissance Festival and see Pipsy Pinwheel. Swallow some awards. All right, Pipsy, you know what to do. There we go. Oh, wait, sorry. I that was a... Take it. No? Can I, can yes, I can you can, can totally... Yeah, that was a mulligan. That was a mulligan. Please be a pie. How much pie do you like? I said to get the small plate, JJ. He spent 20 bucks on pie. <laughs> Alright, Pipsy. We're gonna do this, we're gonna do this nice and easy. Not the Tina Turner way. Alright, stand right there. there. Face, there we go. Everybody see? Alright. Slow motion. Slow motion. Alright? Slow motion. We we need a we need a, a drum roll, right? Oh, oh, oh. Thank you, Pixie. You can eat the whole thing if you want to. Okay, we're gonna skip that one because I'm sick of it. Then let's do. <laughs> All right, this one goes out to the clowns. This is specific for the clowns. I take a set break to screw my lights in, which I forgot to do, but I think I didn't bring my cord. I'm not supposed to confess stuff like that, but I did. It's the gym. Yeah, that's right. How do we start this one? <laughs> there we go. This is Sundry Mayhems. Sundry Mayhems. All right, all right, all right. right. That okay, just okay. Did you like the foreshadowing earlier? Good answer.
round of applause for Bob, sir. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Walter Rattenfanger, everybody. Now, Walter Rattenfanger, another old Rennie. Forever young Rennie. Forever. Right. forever. We're gonna do forever young. <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm gonna drown myself in the river. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, the river. Oh wait, All right, there we go. Alright, Walter Rattenfanger is gonna be playing the harp harmonica for me today. Everybody give him a big round of applause. Hey. Oh, oh. Can you hear this at all? Is that coming through? We can hear it. That's plenty loud, Wally. Thank you very much. <laughs> can you turn that harp down, please? All right, something. He's gonna uh, play some, solo. Something for the rest of you. Mr. 
Mr. Phineas Phyllis on a tee. And advise him to return to his studious life of drunkery. Harvey didn't do what got him in the war. He may well wind up dead. Say, I'm not a racket anymore. Now come on, come on. Yo, man, sit for this. Is there anybody in the audience tonight who knows who Baba Yaga is? Yes! Anybody ever heard of Baba Yaga? Baba oh, Yaga? High school Baba Yaga! Anybody, oh, anybody from out, out, a little bit farther east? Yeah, yeah. A little, little like the Russia area? Anybody in the audience? Alright! You, you got one? You, you got one? Yes! <laughs> Are you gonna volunteer, young lady? Yes, you are. That's the spirit! Why don't you tell me what you want everyone to think your name is? <laughs> Accurate or not, it's up to you. So they can chant something. Teabag. Teabag. Everybody, this is Teabag. <laughs> Alex did that. That's Alex's fault. That's your world. What do you want me to tell everybody your name is? T-Bag, everybody. This is T-Bag. T-Bag is going to be our first volunteer. Everybody, this is Baba Yaga. I'm pronouncing her name wrong. Baba Yaga. Sure, sure. She's a, uh, a witch from Slavic folk tales, right? She eats children and gives good advice depending on the day. That's right. And uh, T-Bag is going to have an opportunity to win fabulous prize. Flabulous. Fabulous prize. Flabulous. All right, T-Bag. You see that broken balloon on the floor right there? Not that one, the other one. The lighter colored one. No, no. Oh, it's misery. No. There you go, right? Yep, that's the one. All right. That's your firing line, teabag. So stand right there. You get... There we go. Look at that. Happy teabag day. What a coincidence. Jets pizza, where memories happen. All right. Miss Bag gets three balls. There you go. All right, now the object of this game, if T-Bag gets even one ball into Babiaga's mouth, yeah. then you get a prize. We can do it. You, we can spin the wheel. You, you won't get pies? a prize, though. You no, say pies or no prize? pies. No pies. This will determine what prize you get. If you win, but you might not win. Okay, so we need a drum solo. We need a bunch of applause for T-Bag. This is your night, T-Bag! Go get him! Yeah, anytime. That was a miss. Another miss. You got this one. Alright. Do you want to spin the wheel to get your prize, or do you want me to spin it? Either way, it's up to you. You spin it. Alright, what's T-Bag going to get? You're not going to get a pie, I promise. Unless you want a pie. I know, so it is. A CD! The most valuable prize! Yeah. Please go back to the merch table and help yourself to one of our fine CDs. You, you still you have a CD back. player, right? To see you again. Yeah, CD player. You can sell those in antique yeah. stores. <laughs> For no money. Ah, you can barely even give those things away anymore. <laughs> I need someone to fetch me my flask. It fell. Baby wants his bottle. <laughs> Thanks, buttons. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I can't think clearly until I have another suck off my little bottle. Oh, that was so glamorous. Thanks. Yeah. I'm in a gin now. I was in a rum for a long time, then I got sick of rum, and now I'm in a gin. Is that gin? It is gin. You want some? Yeah. Yeah. Cool All story, right, bro. Yeah. Have your herpes flared up lately? Because they will. <laughs> Okay, only yesterday it could. I, I heard if if you had herpes once, you can't get it again, right? Is that how it works? Yeah, or something like that's an e something about incurable, right? Science. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, there are acids that can burn those off now. <laughs> I think.
we should do a little waltz, don't you think so? Yes! yes. Alright. Sing along if you know this one. <laughs> do I know this one? Yes. We're gonna, we actually are, are skipping a song because I... No, we're not gonna skip a song. We're gonna do two slow ones in a row. And this one's not gonna be a waltz. I just decided. This is... <laughs> This, this song is about a couple of girls that I dated. Life. I dated these girls at the same time, about 2003. And they both left me for my best friends. And I thought that was really unfair for about... Not quite 15, maybe 12 years. I thought that was really unfair. And then it occurred to me that I probably shouldn't have been trying to date them both at the same time. In the first place. Um, so this one goes out to them. I, I put them together and named them Marie. <laughs> this is about me fantasizing about killing them because I'm really nice, likable dude. All right. <laughs> you may ask me why I choose to wander, why I'm always alone there, alone in the streets, why I never. Under the 
is. That's good. Okay. Carrie gets just green balls. Just three green balls. There you go. Three. Carrie gets three red balls or orange, whatever. There you go. I mean, savage. What did I say? Don't give her blue balls. Whatever you do. I don't know this guy. I, I you know. <laughs> Wait. Oh, you. Okay. <laughs> You're going to throw the ball. Alright, here's the deal. Each of you will get a chance to win a prize, but you have to get the most number of balls in a Bobby Yaga's mouth. Okay? Are you ready? Alright, Carrie, you go first. Oh, that's one. Savage, you've got some stiff competition to carry. Show her how it's done. I did not say you could not do that. Alright. I think we have a winner. Carrie, your turn. Uh-huh. I'm okay. Yeah. How's that? Oh! Uh, Carrie clearly lost. I don't know how we're gonna do this. I feel like we should have you guys fight it out or something. Anyone have a knife? We need two knives. Alright, I think you should both... I think that uh, you get to spin for Savage. And a pie is on the table. Alright. Alright, Gary, give her a pie. Please let her get a pie. Please let her get a pie. Oh, it's a sticker. Savage, cheaters do prosper. You get a sticker. Congratulations, Savage. Why don't you grab another one for Carrie? Missed it by that much. You missed it by that much. All right, you know what? To heck with this spinning wheel. Here's what we're going to do next. Oh. Carrie, Let them eat pie. come on. Come on back up, Carrie. That, that's not how, that's not, that's not just. That's not party-like. No, we like to pretend like the universe is just. So we're going to make it... Slightly more fun, Carrie. All right, we're gonna need two bags of balls out in the audience. Okay. Carrie, throughout this next song, you have to get 15 balls into Bobby Yaga's mouth. And you both solicit the help of everyone in the audience. And I'm gonna tell you, audience members, throwing balls at me is perfectly okay. But not at right? me. Not at Come on. Not, not at, me. at Wally, not at Ozzy, oh, just at me. Yeah. And Bobby Yaga, obviously. <laughs> Kyle is okay too, right? Yeah, you can hit him. Real hard. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, so you can hit me and Kyle, right? One, two, me and Kyle. Right, Kyle? Oh, Pick it up when I put it down. All right. So when I start singing, Carrie and friends, you can all start throwing balls, but only after I start singing, all right? One, two, me and Kyle.
I don't know, we might have 15 in there. Hold on. I want to take a sweaty butt picture of everybody. Yeah! Please expose their sweaty butts. I'm just kidding. Yeah! It's because there's butt sweat on my camera. That's, that's what I meant. All right. Everybody crowd up. I want all my ex-girlfriends to get super jealous that you all love me so much. And she'll, no wish that she hadn't done me. <laughs> say that they totally suck or anything. But. But. <laughs> anyway. Is there any more balloons? They're not here in the audience, are they? They're jumping shitty balloons. <laughs> yeah, we need more balloons. More balloons. We got plenty of balloons. Alright, let's count. Oh, there is more balloons. Let's have more balloons. Alright. We need a ball count for Carrie. Ball count for Carrie. Alright, let's count the balls. Here we go. Ready? One. Things out of here. That's wonderful. Quick, get a CD before you sell off your CD player. It's wonderful. Yeah. All right. So once upon a time, Black Jake and the Carnies, uh, we played in Belgium, the Netherlands, and Germany, and we met this uh, this other band in Germany called Heinrich Thirteen and the Devil Grass Pickers, and we stayed at their place, watched really horrible YouTube videos in their basement while we ate sausages. One thing led to another, and they were going to come to America and play this song with us. No, this one's called Dooley by the Dillards. We saw it on the Andy Griffith show. And uh, so the time came where them, they were going to come to America, and they flew into Detroit Metro Airport. And the, uh, the immigration officer said, are these your CDs? And they said, yeah, those are the CDs. And they said, are these your t-shirts? And they said, yeah, those are the t-shirts. And they said, is this your promotional poster that you're going to be playing music and selling t-shirts for money? And they said, yeah, that's our promotional poster. You're going to be playing t-shirts and selling t-shirts for money. And they said, do you have a work visa? And they said, nine, we don't have a work visa. And so they sent them all the way back to Germany on their own dime, and they are banned. Banned from America forever. They've been cursing the Black Jake and the Carnies name ever since. That's right. But don't worry, they're Germans. Yeah. <laughs> Come to America today. So this one goes out to Heinrich 13 of the Devil Grass Pickers. This one's called Dooley. One, two, three, four!
I had three songs left, something like that, Mike. Uh, 15 minutes. 15 minutes, that's a good three songs. Good three songs. Alright. We're gonna do a real waltz this time. Get these balloons off the floor immediately. Come on, get them up in the air. What is this? What get them up in the air, come on. What do you think this is, a circus? Yeah, what do you think is going on over here? Okay, this one is called... You've probably heard this one. Maybe you've seen Peter Sellers do it on The Muppet Show way back in the day. Finally! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a Peter Sellers fan in the house. Who here likes whiskey? <laughs> Go get me one. No. Just kidding. Figure yourselves one. Make, it, make that true. <laughs> this one is called Cigarettes and Whiskey and Wild Wild Women. Oh, it's a cautionary tale. Yes, only one of which is banned in this bar. Kyle, can you pop two or three at, at the same time? Bam. Uh, here it comes, here it comes, right? Oh, uh, come on. What are we? Oh, anti-climax. <laughs> we'll have to edit this out of the video. Oh, there we go. One, two, three, one, two, three. Wild, wild women, they'll drive you crazy. 
Patrick and Akari from Insulary, Michigan. We could, we could have done it without you, but it would have totally sucked. So thank you very much for showing up. You made our night. We hope that you made your night also. <laughs> All right, the penultimate Black Jack and the Carney song you've all been waiting for. This one's called The Good Man Knows. Oh, Are you sober, Carnies? Why at all? Can you do it? <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! I can't remember that comedian's name. What's the comedian's name? The New Jersey dude. Oh! Oh! Not Gallagher. <laughs> all right, anyway. Moving on. Enter Dice Clay. Enter Dice Clay. Thank you. Self-esteem. 
team and I just eat this up, man. I eat it. God. You want to do another drum, uh, uh, bone drum solo again? Yeah. All right, let's do it. <laughs> I play the most annoying instruments. That's my job. numbers for this one. This one is called Swing Low. And I'd like to thank Mike too on the board back here. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike and Wendy. Without you, we would sound as terrible as we actually do. So I appreciate you putting a little extra reverb on it for me. <laughs> so this is how this one goes. Are you ready? I heard that. Swing Low. Let's try that again. <laughs> Swing low. Swing low. Thank you very much. 
us now. Was that wonderful? Why don't you come up and warm my old bones by coming within a foot and a half of me? Closer than that makes me feel uncomfortable. A foot and a half is good. <laughs> and I, you can't smell my breath from a foot and a half. There we go. <laughs> feel free to throw balls at us. Except for Ozzy, obviously. Smells like cheese. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Black Jake and the Carnies, Ypsilanti, Michigan. Merch on the merch table. Friend us, Facebook friend us. Seriously, I'm on it like 24-7. Every little red notification button gives me a little thrill of endorphins that I cannot get in any other way. He ain't lying. Thank you. Yeah, I look in the mirror and I see. 